In the last video, I walked you through my steps for exporting Evernote notes to OneNote. And in it, I explained an issue that I encountered with being unable to export a large notebook. Well, I found a solution for it, and it involves downloading an older legacy version of OneNote. This not only allowed me to export the larger notebook, but it also solved one of the frustrating limitations of the current version of Evernote. Stick around until the end to find out what that is. Okay, so first, I'll show you how you can download a legacy version of Evernote so that you can export your larger notebooks without issue. I have to say, finding a working link to download an older version of Evernote wasn't easy. So thank you to this person, NUX, for providing the link. When you click on the link, it takes you to this web archive and the download should occur automatically as you can see here. Once the download is complete, run the exe file to install the program. As you can see, we get this grayscale Evernote logo with the word legacy on it. I made the mistake of trying to create a new account here, but of course realized that I should click on this already have an account section. Just enter your email, continue, enter your password, sign in, and for me, it sends me a verification code to my phone since I have two-factor authentication enabled. Enter the code and you should be in. Now I'll go to the notebook with about 5,000 notes that I was having trouble exporting. Hit export, then save. And what do you know, the export succeeded. Now it does split the notebook into multiple ENEX files. And if you're thinking, but I want all of these into a single OneNote notebook, not 26 separate ones, don't worry, I got you covered. Open your Evernote to OneNote app and select the import ENX file. We're going to select the first file of the batch, the one without the numbers. I'm just going to go into OneNote and make sure the notes imported correctly. And it does look good. Now, before I import the second file, I'm going to go to my file explorer and delete the first ENEX file that we just finished importing. Then grab the second file and rename it exactly the same as the first file that we just deleted. This just means getting rid of the suffix numbers. Now, when we import, it will append the new notes to the existing notebook rather than creating a new notebook. And you'll have to repeat this step for each of the ENEX files in the batch. And yes, it's a lot and it's tedious. Uh, as you can see, I have 26 of them, but it is simple and straightforward. It only took me about 15 minutes to get them all imported. Remember I mentioned in the beginning of the video that there is a frustrating limitation in the newer version of OneNote, and that is not having the ability to select more than 100 notes. Whether you wanna move these notes or export them, the fact that you can only select 100 notes at a time is unacceptably limiting. However, the legacy version allows you to select any number of notes so that you can apply bulk actions like merge, um, save their attachments, move or copy them, and even export them to an ENEX file. So there you have it. With this legacy version along with the Evernote to OneNote importer, I was able to move all my notes out of Evernote into OneNote. So at this point, I say goodbye to Evernote after 14 years. I wish them good luck, and I will keep my eyes open for what great innovation they come up with next. Thanks for watching.